In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together in your name as you teach us your word. We pray that you may allow us to live your word and, and bear fruits that Glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, this day for the wonderful opportunity you have given us to listen to your word. And when so many people are busy, Lord, you have brought some of us together. And Lord, I pray that you deposit your word in each one's heart. Fill everybody, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Bless all the members of the family. As we celebrate the Christmas, uh, I, I pray that we all will remain in the spirit and celebrate the Christmas, Lord. Dear Lord, I pray that a breakthrough will come in each one's life. I pray for all those who will be watching through the YouTube. Fill everybody, Lord, with your Holy Spirit and fire. Lord, let a mighty presence visit each one of them. Lord, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's all pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cover us with the blood of your Son. Cover us with the blood of your Son. All of us, all of us can pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We lay a wall of fire around us. We lay a wall of fire around us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your angels encamp around us day and night. Let your angels encamp around us day and night. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Teach us and guide us. Teach us and guide us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So we have been learning about the prophetic and we have been learning how to grow in the prophetic. Mm. And I think last two days we have been learning that one of the basic foundation regarding using any charism is uh, spending some time in prayer. Mm. So we, we need to spend some time in prayer in order to develop ourselves in using these charisms. Right. And once we get into the intimacy with the, the Holy Spirit, it becomes easier for us to use the charisms. Mm. So without growing in intimacy with the Holy Spirit also, you can use these charisms. Mm. But when you grow in intimacy with Him, when you grow in intimacy with God, when you use these charisms, it will be more perfected in you. Mm. God will give you the wisdom how to use uh, these charisms. So there are, there are people I have seen, they have received the charisms and they have also received wisdom how to use the charisms properly. But there are some people I have seen who have received the charism but they lack wisdom how to use it properly. So then those kind of people also need to pray. Both can have to pray, need to pray. And uh, the second category also need to pray more. And so that we can have get wisdom from the Lord to use these charisms in a proper way. As God wills, use it as the Holy Spirit wills. So we learned that uh, prayer, you know, prayer is a foundation through which uh, we learn uh, to grow in using the, the charisms of the Holy Spirit. And one keynote was which I want to read again, just to remind you all that it may, I pray that it may be deposited in each one of us. That is in uh, Psalms 110 verses 1. Psalm 110 verses 1. Yeah. Uh, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. So we have been called to be with the Lord. And then as we spend time with him, he will make our enemies our footstool. He will make our enemies our footstool. So in the initial, you don't have to go searching people to help you out to defeat the enemies of your life. When you are called by God, you need to sit with him 
and he will make your enemies your footstool. Who will do it for you? He himself will do it. So that is why the devil always tempts us to keep away from prayer. To keep away from prayer, to make us busy, uh, busy and uh, to prevent us from praying. So as we spend time with the Lord, sit at his right hand and continue to communicate with him, continue to talk to him, continue to build up a relationship with him through spending quiet time with him, spending a prayer time with him, uh, you will find that your enemies will become your footstool and it will be God's doing. Mm -hmm. And I have seen a lot of people going around, going around and uh, speaking about their problems, you know, to others, you know. There are certain situations in life where nobody can help. Uh, Only God can help. Mm. There are times he will interfere directly or there are times he will interfere through others. So that will be led by the Spirit of God. He will bring us to that situation where we can be healed or delivered or whatever that is blocking us, preventing us to flow in the fullness of the prophetic. He will deliver us and heal us. So responsibility lies with us. So we need to pray. Jesus prayed, the apostles prayed, and we all need to pray. And we also learn that we need to store the word of God in us. Let the word of God abide in you richly. So anything that you do must come from that. What the word of God abiding inside you, from that it should come. Anything that you teach, anything that you sing, it should come from that. And then we learned about, uh, uh, about, about intercession. That we need to spend time praying for others. Then we'll come to know the mind of Christ. And I told you that intercessions are those people who know the mind of Christ. They may be uneducated people. They may, may not be formally educated in spirituality also. But because they pray for others, they, they partner with the Holy Spirit without knowing the terms. You know, without knowing the terms, they partner with the Holy Spirit. They know the mind of Christ. So to grow prophetically, we, we, we need to, we, 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 we need to uh, pray for others. So more you pray for others and more, more you pray for the nations and pray for others, you will grow prophetically. You will know the mind of Christ, the mind of God, you will know. Any, in, any, any sincere intercession, you look into them, they, will, they know the mind of God. God will give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding so they can understand the will of God in every situation. So to grow in the prophetic, we need to become intercessors also. Then we'll be really powerfully anointed and um, the, the grace will flow very powerfully. And the next point, we, I, I remember speaking to you all, saying that uh, we need to spend some time in silence. You know? As we learn to quieten ourselves, the portals of prophetic portals will open in our life. Where we can see more clearly, where we can hear more accurately. So in order to do that, there are many things that help us. We learn to quieten ourselves by meditating on the scriptures. We can meditate on the life of Jesus. On the life of the saints. We can meditate on. And as I said, when you pray the Holy Rosary, if you are meditating on the mysteries, surely you will be able to practice walking in silence. Because when you concentrate your mind, not on your problem, but on, on the mysteries of the life of Jesus. So when you keep looking at it in your mind, your mind will get concentrated. So And, and as I said, when you pray the rosary, I found that a lot of revelations come, a lot of clarity it comes. I have noted in our prayer group, when, whenever we used to pray one rosary in the beginning, very in the flow, the, they, were, they were all gifted, not that they were not gifted, they were all gifted people, but when they added rosary, the, 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 the revelations were flowing like a river. So that's why these things will all help us to grow. Then I, I said about praying in tongues. 
So praying in tongues will build us for the ministry. So praying in tongues will build us and praying in tongues will open where is doors of power in our life. But these things all we have to do. If you want to, if you see, when you want to become a study medicine and become a doctor, so much effort and time people do, people take to study so many things. When you want to become an engineer and then after that six months you have to go in the, in, the, in the field of medicine or in nursing also six months you have to sign a bond maybe for six months or one year or two year and then you have to slog in order to get a so certificate of experience. Just think the effort that is being put uh, for, the, for studying medicine or engineering or nursing or, or, other, or, or, or other areas of education. So in the same way, we have to put some effort and time so that we can be, we have become excellent in using the charisms given by the Holy Spirit. So these things help us. Praying in tongues will powerfully help us. It will open up a lot of portals of power in our lives. So these things we are all learning. And one thing, the next point I want to share that will really help you is praise and worship. Praise and worship. And I have noted, when you praise and worship, you live in the glory. When you really praise and worship, it doesn't matter how much time, even if it's 20 minutes or half an hour, or 40 I minutes, if you really worship God from, from in spirit and truth, from your heart, you will touch the heart of God, heart of the Father, and you will walk in the glory of God. And I have seen this, when you praise and worship, you walk in the glory. Now, what is this glory? Like we have uh, air in this atmosphere of the earth. There is, there in the atmosphere of heaven, there is one glory. Very thick presence of the Holy Spirit. So when, when we become present worshippers, we can see beautifully, uh, it will be so normal to speak the things of God. Actually, what is a revival? Revival is walking in the glory of God and preaching under the glory of God. What is a move of God's spirit? It is being in the glory of God and speaking or singing or using the talents God has given is remaining in the glory of God. So praise and worship will help us to go forward, move from one level to the other level very faster. And that is why in Psalms, Psalms 100, you can read verses 1 to 5. Make a joyful noise to the Lord are all the lands. Stir the earth with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is good. Lord is God. It is he that makes, that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. So how do you enter? With thanksgiving. Only a heart that worships the Lord can thank the Lord truly. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And his courts with praise. So that is how you enter the presence of God. And you can enter very fast when you start praising and worshipping the Lord. And I tell you, uh, when you see, there are various kinds of prayers and each prayer has its own purpose. When it comes to worship, it is one of the shortcuts to enter into the presence of the Lord. 
So never lose a heart of worship. When do we lose the heart of worship? When we start worshiping things other than God. You can worship time also. You can worship your talent, your job, or your ministry also. So when you worship things other than, it can come at any time. We should not lose the heart of worship. And any time it can get cut if our mind gets diverted to any other thing. So one, one of the short, the only, I think the one, I think this is the only shortcut to quickly move into the presence of God is praise and worship. And that is why in the charismatic retreats, they use it at its maximum. When you look into a general retreat in Kerala, one example in Kerala, I don't know in Karnataka and other places in Kerala, general retreat, who are coming for the retreat? Auto rickshaw drivers, carpenters, plumbers, agriculturists, those are laborers working in the field, nurses, many business people, somebody working in some company or maybe in some shop. And these people who are coming, they do not have a big background of prayer. Neither maybe may not be having a background of spirituality. They do not have. 99% will not be having. But when they come, because of praise and worship, they are lifted to the presence of the Lord very quickly. So that's why we have to get lifted in the presence of the Lord and remain there. So the remaining there is one important key. Remaining there is one important key. Remaining in that glory. We have a tendency to come down. Where we climb a ladder, praise and worship the Lord, and then we come down off the ladder. So pray to the Lord to remove that uh, stepping, uh, this, uh, that all the stepping uh, block that has kept in the ladder. Pray to the Lord to remove that. So that you don't come, you cannot come down. Mm. Yeah. When you when you when you're climbing a ladder, you're stepping on one, the second, I don't know what it what is called technically, one, one, two, three, four, five. And then we praise and worship the Lord, and then after some time again we come down. Mm. Pray to the Lord to remove that so that we cannot come down. Mm. So remaining in that glory, praise a worship, heart of worship will create that uh, atmosphere for you to carry the glory. And that is why, because Mother Mary was a worshipper, she traveled all the way, I don't know how many kilometers, I had to ask somebody who has studied the scripture or the place, how many kilometers she had to move to meet Elizabeth. 80 miles. 80? Miles. Oh, yeah, 80 miles, okay. Okay, 80 miles, how many kilometers it is? Okay, so it's all that area she, she had to cover up that uh, time. We don't know whether they stopped somewhere or not. We have no idea. She was able to carry the glory till she met Elizabeth. After that, of course, also. So that is because she was a worshipper. You find that in Luke. You can read it again. Luke chapter 1. Verses 46. So the Lord is telling someone here, it's good to praise and worship, but don't come down. From the level, the Lord lifts you up. Verses 46. Okay. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. And my, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. See, her soul was magnifying the Lord. Mm. And her spirit was rejoicing in the Lord, finding delight in the Lord, and magnifying the Lord is a worship. Mm. So she was a worship, 80 miles, she moved from one place to another, carrying the glory. So that's why we all, we all have to remember praise and worship will lift us up very fast, very quickly into the presence of the Lord. Because the many, we are tied to many things on the earth. 
we have we have we feel a gravitational pull to return back so we have to pray the lord to cut one by one one by one the knots the strings that are holding us to the things of the flesh to cut one by one one by one so praise and worship is powerful to move into the presence of god and to move in the prophetic we saw we saw in 2 kings chapter 3 i think earlier once i have read it but it's good to read again uh 2 kings chapter 3 verses 2 verses 15 2 kings chapter 3 verses 15 yeah here we see that two kings have came to elisha and asked for some prophetic word from the lord uh but and elisha was not uh, sensing the prophetic anointing so he called for a musician mm -hmm. verses 15 but now bring me a minstrel and when the minstrel played the power of the lord came upon him yeah same but, is with but, soul also yeah. the soul when david play, played the harp yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but get me a musician and then while the musician was playing the power of god came up on him hmm so there's a praise and worship music you no know, praise and worship will activate the power of god in our life and if you are ready to die daily you can carry this with you mm. the reason because after praise and worship when you come out of it slowly slowly it weighs down because there is a tendency to turn towards the flesh and the holy spirit knows our pattern also mm. because he has been seeing us praising and worship 365 days of the year So he knows the pattern, how the what pattern we fall after. So that's why we lose that uh, continuous touch of the Lord or the the abiding presence of the Lord, a tangible presence of the Lord in us. Mm. This that's why we have to be careful. We have to die daily if you have to carry the glory of God. Mm. And carrying the glory of God is one of the most powerful, you know, one of the most powerful uh, what you call method to be. very effective on earth walking in that glory so praise and worship lift us up to a, to his presence very quickly very fast doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor doesn't matter whether what language you belong to doesn't matter at all everybody is encouraged we can see here in the book of revelation many people criticize praise and worship and all in the renewal that is because they are blinded by satan it's only because they are blinded by satan no they are not able to know the value of it the power of it the purpose of it so king lord revelation 19 verses 4 lord king kita 4 and 5 revelation 19 verses 4 and 5 and 20 and the 24 elders and four living creatures fell down and worshiped god who was seated on the throne saying amen hallelujah and from there from the throne came a voice crying praise our god all you his servants you who fear him small and great then yeah. i heard then i heard what seemed to be the voice of great multitude like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty thunder pearls crying hallelujah for the lord our god the almighty reigns yeah so we see here praise our god all you his servants and all who fear him small and great so everybody is invited no? so as you praise and worship we will remain in that glory so our our desire should be to remain in that glory so then we have to look into our life and see what is that that is reducing the glory of god in my life mm. then you must see what is that increasing the glory of god in my life so add those things and minus those which reduces the glory of god in our life mm. just imagine every day you praise and worship the lord you are touched by the power of god you now what what opportunity is there what scope is available right 
Only because there are certain things we are tied, the gravitational pull, they are tying us to the things of this world, bringing us back to the, <coughs> bringing us back to the things of the world. Any anybody got any question here? So praise and worship is something very precious. We need to develop and live live in it. You know, I remember hearing about one lady who was in intercession, who was in Jerusalem. She was sharing when the times of war. You know, see the lot of lot of lot of time, lot of warning is given. Terrorist attack is coming. Some warning sirens will be there. So she says that uh, whenever I see hear the siren, <coughs> I will start praising and worshiping the Lord. And many of the sirens will be false actually. Many of the silence, many many of the silence will be false. And she says, and as they'll start praising and worshiping the Lord, as they'll praise and worship, she she'll feel she may be alone on the road. You know, this can come anytime. The silence can come anytime. She might be on the road. She might be on the road. And she says that as she starts praising and worshiping, she starts feeling the glory of God. The glory of God is a very thick presence of the Lord. It's like you experience uh, like snow falling or like cotton. I have not seen snow falling, but I can just only, uh, what do you call it, explain. It might be like that, like cotton, no? Mm. A very thick glory around you. It's very peculiar. There is a certain peculiarity about the, uh, about, about the glory of God. There are some peculiarity about the glory of God. You know, I think Jesus spoke, I don't remember exactly where the scripture is, somewhere in Matthew, Mark, Luke. He said, you will hear rumors of war, rumors. The rumors of war might sound as if war is going to start, but it may be only a rumor. So when you stay in a place like Jerusalem, that is the place you learn how to walk in the glory of God. Mm. So you have to stay in tough places, you know, where you can learn to walk in the spirit. Mm. So praise and worship is some so powerful that will raise you up to its his presence very quickly. And in the prophetic, to grow in the prophetic is one of the most beautiful, uh, what you call one beautiful spiritual exercise where you can grow in the prophetic. King King David wrote so many of the Psalms, you know. And it, this is a revelation. Elisha himself was a psalmist. It's not mentioned in the Bible, but it's a revelation. And that's why he called that musician. So he might have sung also, worshipping the Lord. So King David himself was a worshipper. He overcome Goliath. He killed the past with his both hands. Hmm. He walked in the glory. Right. So as long as his mind was in Christ, in God, he was able to walk in the glory of God. So there is a gravitational pull that pulls us down. Right. So pray, Lord, cut those strings. You know, he has to cut. You cannot cut by yourself. You might think, oh, I did like this. I did like that. You might think you have to do all this. What we have to do? Sit at sit at the right hand of the Lord. He said, I will put your enemies. And make it your uh, under your footstool. Mm. God did not say, I'll put your enemies under my feet. I said, I'll put your enemies under your feet. So praising and worshipping the Lord will help us to grow prophetically. It will be very quick, very easy. Because those who have got the revelatory uh, charisms, those who have got the prophetic uh, giftings and all, as you learn to praise and worship the Lord, move deeper and deeper in praise and worship, you will find uh, beautiful things happening. In the, particularly in this realm of revelatory uh, gifts, you can see many things, many doors opening up for you. Any, any, anybody got any question here? Any, anybody can praise and worship, okay? You don't have to be educated, you don't have to be a musician, you don't have to be what you call a hi-fi spiritual person also, can start off praising and worshipping the Lord. 
simply saying praise the lord simply saying hallelujah is enough for the for you to carry the glory i remember when i was in orissa when i came to divan also i i used to spend a lot of time praising the lord and the only word that i used to say was praise the lord mm praise the lord i used to say for hours and hours people say that continuously you cannot pray vocally that is not true he will say that vocally continuously you cannot pray it is not true i have prayed i have said praise the lord many times mm. but very softly praise the lord i used to keep on saying because i found there is some difference when i am saying praise the lord i remember the lord told me one day is a prophetic word the word to lord told me whenever you say praise the lord demons leave mm. and i also noted when i when i used to say praise the lord no one one glory is to move among the crowd one glory is to move like a wave above the crowd for me praise the lord is like a sword you know and i have used it very powerfully many times many times so it's not necessary to have all spiritual language to praise and worship the lord that's what i am trying to tell that i am not worthy syndrome i do not have the vocabulary as somebody else is praying that is not something that we need as you simply say uh, praise the lord hallelujah you can powerful change will come the so praise and worship will, will ignite the prophetic in our life so much time I, I, i among the crowd while going for dive when i used to go for we having lunch at the dining hall i will be saying praise the lord very softly in the train so many places before corona came even without mask so that that kept me walk in the glory of god when people were opposing when were people opposing and uh, um, kind to of create unnecessary problems and nothing used to affect me because i was bulletproof in the glory of god when you say when you are praise and worship you will get bulletproof now many of you will be thinking oh i do not have the gift of tongues so what can i do praise and worship and desire the gift of tongues the gift of tongues will come so we have to learn to use this you know then only we will become very effective and powerful tiredness will go letharginess will go when you get up in the morning you feeling lazy just said 10 times praise the lord praise the lord you may not mean it keep saying and the meaning will come when the holy spirit will join us until then the meaning will not come so when when we say when we starting when we say we may not feel anything just keep on saying because the bible says Praising is a sacrifice of the lips. Don't forget that it is. It comes. It should come from the lips, and it is a sacrifice. When we don't feel it, you don't like it, you don't want it, but still you say because God says to do. The praise and worship will ignite. You know the prophetic at homes and all. If you have a good praise and worship time and learn to walk in the glory of God after praise and worship. You you can be you can bring lot of changes in your family. I remember when you were I was in the prayer group. We used to spend forty five minutes, one hour, praising and worshiping the Lord. And when we used to come out of the chapel and say some word, no, it it was like a arrow piercing people's heart. So we have to learn to remain in that glory. then it will be we will be continuously will flow in the spirit i think jesus walked in that glory kept on fueling it by going to pray again and again you feel it you know how do you feel the fire the fire the holy spirit can only be fueled fueled fuel by going back to god again and again so jesus kept the fire burning he went to pray again and again as a son of man as a son of So we all should be encouraged that we want to grow in the prophetic. Uh, well, you praise and worship. Anybody can do it. 
Sometimes you might feel some headache and all. That's all you need, healing and deliverance. So as you keep on praising, praising and worshiping the Lord, this, their, their heaviness will go. Heaviness will go. You will be able to overcome the, all, many of the arrows of the evil one, you know. Like a rubber ball, when you hit on the wall, it bounces back. These things will bounce back off you. So we are, these are the times God is wanting us to learn to walk in the glory of God. So that we can continue to worship the Lord. Continue to praise and worship the Lord. I remember many people used to tell, see, a divinity center was formed in a place where there was a hospital that had failed. And there was a tile factory that had failed. And then uh, there was a pond there and people used to come and drink alcohol before the center was formed. People used to be afraid to come at night time in that area. So why father, father once was telling that because we started praising the Lord, the whole atmosphere changed here. So well, well, the reason why he said, people say, oh, I, I have a curse, my family has a curse. And all that. He said, start praising the Lord. Worshipping the Lord, he will, he will turn that curses to blessing. He will turn that curses to blessing. The father said, we started saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, started praising and worshipping the Lord. Everything changed. The atmosphere changed. God started bringing people. Miracles used to happen. Word of God is being preached. If you look into the demo demonography of that area, you can know that all everything was a failure. Everything was a failure. To praise and worship, they brought a change. Anybody got any questions? We will pray. So you can ignite the prophetic. You can develop your gifting. You can enlarge that gifting. You can make, make yourself more accurate in that gifting by praising and worshiping the Lord and remaining in that glory. Just imagine you are in the kitchen. And suddenly you feel the glory of God and you turn to your husband and say something prophetically. Just imagine you are in the drawing room and you feel the glory of God and you say something prophetically to your children as you advise them. The Holy Spirit advises them through your lips. How powerful and beautiful it will be. So there is a gravitational pull. Only the Lord can cut it, but we need to go to him. And then he will do, and wherever possible, we need to die daily. So let us all pray and ask the Lord to move our hearts, to give a new mantle of praise. And for those who have forgotten to praise and worship, for those who have left it behind, pick it up. For those who have just taken it very silly, or it is not something, uh, you know, it's not, it's not something that important, it's not traditional, all that kind of stories, all that stories that we heard is actually demonic. All the saints of praise and worshippers. When you look into every official prayers of the Catholic Church, you find praise and worship there. There's a book given to every priest to pray in the morning and evening. Every pages have praise and worship. You'll be surprised the richness of the words used there. Right. You'll be really surprised. I thought, why this are not been taught to the people? So much richness in these words mentioned in that books. But the sisters also use that book. It's a, it's a part of the church. Mm. It's good to give. It's nice to give thanks and praise. Father Daniel, Father Daniel uh, gives a very, a very short, very quick and easy uh, prayer for worship. He says, uh, "The glory be to the Father, Son, and to the Holy Spirit." Yeah, it's yeah. A very, very powerful prayer, which we yeah. do not even, you know, realize it. Yeah. He has given so many testimonies on that word, prayer alone. Just yeah. in glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy, because there is no other worship bigger than that. You know, yeah, yeah. praying yeah. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Right, right. See, when your heart is after God, when you have a heart of worship, when you say glory to the glory be to the Father once, when you say glory, glory be to the Son once, and glory be to the Holy Spirit once. It will have an impact when you have a heart of worship inside you. 
we will pray 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 brother. yeah yeah we'll pray hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord do you have any father we thank you lord for this uh, moment lord thank you for teaching us that uh, the prophecy can develop in praise and worship dear lord i pray the release that anointing into our lives uh, release the mantle of praise and worship and everybody open your mouth and praise and worship let the atmosphere of your families change Thank you, thank you, thank you. Allow, thank you. allow the Holy Spirit to work praise, in the families. Praise, 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 praise Jesus. Yes, Lord holding on to the burdens is not enough. You need to praise and worship the Lord, and you see the changes will come. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Riya Shiraba Habari. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Riya Shiraba Habari. Riva Shiraba Haba Habari. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Riya Shiraba Haba Habari. Riva Shiraba Habari. Riva Shiraba Haba Habari. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Oh, glory, 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 Lord! Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Will everybody, Lord, with your Holy Spirit and fire, Lord? Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise you, Jesus! Thank you, thank you, Lord! Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Thank you, thank you, Lord! Riya Shiraba Haba Haba! Oh, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria! Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Riya Shiraba Haba Riya! Riva Shiraba Haba Haba Riya! Riya Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Riya Shiraba Haba Riya! Gloria, Gloria, Gloria! Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise the Jesus! Thank you, thank you, Lord! Will everybody with your Holy Ghost and fire? Will everybody with your Holy Ghost and power, Lord? Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Let the mantle of praise and worship, let the mantle of praise fall upon each one of them right now, Lord. Let the mantle of praise fall upon each one of them right now. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise the Jesus! Thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Oh, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria! Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise the Jesus! Thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, untie every string that is holding us to our Lord, the things of this earth. Break it, Lord. Cut it, Lord. Break it, cut every string that is holding me and each one of us, Lord, that we might move in your presence and remain there as you walk on the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya Shiaraba Haba Habaria. Riya Shiaraba Habaria. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya Shiaraba Haba Habaria. Riva Shiaraba Habaria. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the waves of glory fall on our lives, Lord. Let the glory visit our families today, Lord. Today, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord, let the glory visit our families, Lord. Oh, let the shekena, shekena glory visit our families, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Visit us, Lord, I pray, in the place of prayer. Visit us, Lord, in the place of dedication. Visit us, Lord, in the place we are, where we are dying daily. Visit us, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the glory visit us, Lord, in the places where we are dying daily, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let, it, let, let, let the glory visit us in the place of dedication, Lord. Let it visit us, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let it visit, Lord, in the, in the altar, in our altar of our life, Lord. Let the glory visit us, Lord, as it visited the saints of the old. Visit us, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I break every strong in the name of Jesus. I break every strong in the name of Jesus. Preventing us to pray. Preventing us to praise and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Preventing us to Reading the word of God. Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya Shiaraba Habaria. Oh, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya Shiaraba Haba Haba. Riva Shiaraba Habaria. Oh, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya Shiaraba Habaria. Oh, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Riya, 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 Riya Shiaraba. Riya Shiaraba Haba Habaria. Oh, Gloria, Gloria. Gloria, Gloria, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Riya Shiraba Habaria, Riya Shiraba Habaria. Oh, glory, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Riya Shiraba Haba Habaria, Riva Shiraba Haba Habaria, Riva Shiraba Habaria. 
O glory, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ria shara ba habaria. Ria shara ba habaria, ria ria. Ria shara ba habaria. Riba shara ba habaria. Ria shara ba habaria, ria. Riba shara ba habaria, ria. O glory, 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 glory. Ria shara ba habaria, ria ria. Oh, glory, 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 Lord, glory, Lord. Praise Jesus, thank you, thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Jesus, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Say now, shake up. Say now, shake up. Let us all just close our eyes and bask in the glory. Just be, let's be silent to hear his voice. The Lord is one message the Lord is giving that uh, learn to walk in the glory and you will understand the spiritual things very easily. The spiritual truth can be understood when we start walking in the glory. Anybody want to share? You can share anything, any scriptures, any thoughts, any images. The Lord is reminding us to make space in your life to carry the glory of God. In the, in the glory of God, ours will go away like seconds. Hmm. Somebody is saying that we should uh, take part in the Holy Mass as often as possible. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine that when you, you carry the glory and you go to the Holy Mass and you attend the Mass and then you will see the body and blood of Christ and you again return back in the glory of God. How beautiful it will be. Okay then, so we will come back tomorrow. Until then, keep walking in the glory of God. Walk in the Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you everyone. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, brother.